Hello everyone! Welcome to Learn English with Tangmation. Today's topic is prepositions of place, in, on, and at. There is a quick test to check your knowledge, so stay till the end and make sure you take it. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss out on future videos. There are many prepositions in English language. In this video, we will discuss three of them. We will learn all the rules for the most common prepositions of place, such as in, in the car, on, on the road, and at, at home. The general rules are the following. We use in when talking about enclosed spaces and things with borders. We use on when talking about surfaces or when speaking about general locations. And we use at when talking about specific locations. These are general rules. However, remember, they will not cover everything, so please pay attention to some other, more specific rules for each preposition. Let's now discuss the prepositions in more details. We'll start with the preposition in. We use in when talking about and close spaces and things with borders. Number one, things with walls or enclosures. Some examples are, I'm in the bedroom or the cat is in the box. Number two, means of transport with enclosure. Examples I'm in the car or I'm in a taxi. Number three Countries, cities, neighborhoods, all of which have borders. Some examples I live in England or I work in London. Number four, things that were written by an author. For example, books, articles or letters. For example, I found out about this in this article. All right. Let's now move on to the preposition on. We use on when talking about surfaces or when speaking about general locations. Number one, surfaces. All soft floors within a building. For example, the office is on the second floor or the keys are on the table. Number two, streets, roads, etc. For example, the nearest McDonald's is on the Liverpool road. Number three, communication and media. For example, the interview was on TV yesterday. Or you won't believe what was on the news yesterday. And number four, public transport that you board. This specifically applies to transport that you can get on and walk on board. For example, I listen to music when I'm on a train or I met him on the bus. 
All right, let's now move on to the preposition at. We use at when talking about specific locations. Number one, addresses. For example, Sherlock Holmes lived at 221B Baker Street. Note the difference here. Sherlock Holmes lived on Baker Street. When the address is not that specific, then we use on. And as soon as we add the home number, then the preposition changes to at. Okay, number two, specific location. For example, the Queen lives at the Buckingham Palace. Or, let's meet at the Big Ben. Number three, events. For example, there were 200 guests at my wedding. And number four, home, work or school. Some examples are, I'm at home. Or, are you still at work? Or, she's at school. And number five, exact locations, top, bottom, etc. For example, there is a tree at the top of the hill. Number six, when something is next to another thing. For example, I normally sit at this table. All right, and now we have some bonus content. Look at these two sentences. I'm in a library. I'm at a library. Which one is correct? Both sentences are correct. Although there is a slight difference. The first one is focusing on the building. And the second one is focusing on the type of place or its function. Okay. Now that we know which prepositions to use and when to use them, it's the time for a test. Grab a pen and paper if you want. The task is to fill the gaps with the correct prepositions. Let's go. He lives 1 Yemen Street. I left my watch a train. The cat is hiding the kitchen. The beauty salon is the second floor. All right, you will now have 10 seconds to complete this, but as always, don't worry. You can pause the video if you need to. Let's go. All right, the time is up. Let's check if you got it right. Here are the sentences filled with the correct prepositions. He lives at 1 Yemen Street. I left my watch on a train. The cat is hiding in the kitchen. The beauty salon is on the second floor. Did you get it right? If you did, then well done. So, today's topic was prepositions of place in, on and at. We hope you enjoyed it. See our Learn English with Tangmation playlist to learn more about the English grammar. So, until the next time.